This week I faced my toughest test of the year against the world number 527 in the world in the main draw of the Q815K. And if I win this match, I get another ATP point. I showed you how my qualifying went, winning 6261 in the first round and 6264 in the second round. So let's jump straight in on the day of the match. It was time for a warm up. I was playing second match on. I was warming up next to my opponent, which I actually quite enjoyed. Um, and, you know, just did a lot of the basics in these tournaments. You usually only have half court to warm up. Feeling good today. Nice and warm. I was actually warming up next to the guy I'm playing, but yeah, we're kind of friends, so it's fine. It's gonna be a good test, nothing to lose today. Having warmed up the crosses, it was time for some volleys. Usually in the warm up, I'd like to kind of do a few different variations. You can see me here just trying to come forward, close out the ball. It doesn't really matter whether I make it or not, and then warm up a few smashes. But also have a little bit of fun with it. And then on serve and return, just look to just, I don't know, play loose, hit a few drop shots like that. I think that especially playing against high level players or in main draw, you need to take a little bit of that mental pressure off before you play you know, these matches, especially as the underdog. You don't need to take it too seriously. And I think that that kind of helps me to play my best tennis because you know, I'm, just, I'm just playing loose. And, uh, you know, and that was the warm up hit in the morning done. It was time to jump into the match. So this would definitely be one of the biggest tests this year so far playing against Sedan, he's around 527 in the world currently, at around a career high, I believe. He's also racked around 300 in doubles, so he was very handy around the net. Now, I started off this match with nothing to lose. Um, I had pretty much no nerves, which was obviously a good thing going into the match. And I think that that kind of paid off quite well early on because I was going for a lot of shots. And I was trying to be you know, nice and aggressive and I was hustling for a lot of balls and making them play. And as you can see here, getting the opportunity to go up an early break. Now, this obviously wasn't what I was expecting, but, you know, I was just kind of going with the flow at this point, saying, look, I'm just going to try and, you know, play every single game to the best of my ability. Um, I haven't played too many of these um, caliber of players this year, actually. This is only my uh, I think third or fourth main draw match of the year. So definitely getting more experience against these players is going to be, um, something that's going to help me out massively and so I was super kind of happy to play this match but as you can see here even though I was down 40-15 in my own service game maintaining that aggressive attitude was something that I knew was important not only to try and you know win this match but also just in terms of my game identity I think the game identity of someone is like how you want to play and I think that for me I'm kind of figuring that out more and more that I, I like to play aggressive I like to play serve and first ball I like to kind of take risks sometimes, so kind of playing into my strengths in that sense was something that under pressure, when, when sometimes when I'm nervous, really helps me out. And as you can see here, I'm four of up in this first set. You know, I've come out of the gate super strong. My opponent's giving me a few points here and there, which he may not usually, and I was definitely trying to just take advantage of that. Serving, I was serving around 60 to 70% first serves, which is quite a high percentage because I was really hitting the serve, so I was going for it. And as you can see, kind of in these rallies, you know, there's, there's pretty much no difference in terms of the actual rally ball, but, you know, stepping in, taking the opportunities on that backhand side was, you know, where I was, um, you know, finding the difference. And even though the first few games of this match uh, were actually quite close in terms of, you know, who was up, I somehow managed to find a way in each of these games to, to kind of hustle through and, and look to, to phase up, for example, on that forehand, come forwards off the slice. That's something I've been working on a lot. Unfortunately, not being able to put it away. But as you can see, you can see my intentions are pretty clear. You can see exactly what I'm trying to do. And it was working at the beginning of this match. Um, and obviously, you know, with people watching, my dad was supporting uh, and also filming and Raf, my doubles partner, was watching. You know, I had that kind of positive pump and energy which I could kind of use. I like to have people watching my matches. I kind of can, can feed off the energy a little bit. So that was definitely helping me out as well. Um, but obviously, you know, my opponent's not just going to roll over. I wasn't expecting, um, you know, a five love fair. I wasn't expecting him to give me the set, of course, but I also knew that whether I win this set or not, he's going to come back really strong in this second set. He's not going to give me anything. He wouldn't be 500 in the world, and he also made the final of the week before in this tournament, uh, beating a few guys, maybe 400 in the world. Uh, he's not just going to roll over. So he's, you know, on good form. You can see here at 5-1-30 all, definitely I want to take this opportunity to try and serve it out. I don't want to, to give him any opportunity to come forwards. Taking that backhand early was working for me really well. And I get my first set point here at 40-30, going with the second serve to his forehand. And he puts it long and I managed to take the first set. Also guys, I wanted to quickly jump in here and say we are currently looking for an editor for the Tennis Brothers channel. This should ideally be someone who kind of edits in a YouTube style, knows a lot about YouTube, and of course knows a lot about tennis and loves tennis themselves. Check the link down below for the full job description, and if you think you'd be a good fit, hit us up and hopefully we can work together. 
now. Definitely, again, something that, you know, I was super proud of myself for obviously taking that first set, but, you know, the job's far from done. And, um, you know, I knew that this, this set was going to be a much more of a battle. And I think that mentally, sometimes when you play matches, it's always going to be a bit of a roller coaster up and down. It's just whether you can kind of keep your concentration and keep the pressure on your opponent for as many games as possible. And that's why you can see me here trying to hustle, trying to find a way through. Uh, so Dan plays a great game here at one love in this in this second set. I definitely think that you know this is where I can usually be prone, or most people can be prone to being broken because you know you've you've won the first, you're a bit too comfortable, um, and as you can see, I go down 40 love pretty quickly. And um, you know, as you can see, him putting some returns on the baseline, looking to be aggressive with that backhand. He was solid off both wings, making it difficult to pick a side to kind of attack from. As you can see, drawing me out on that forehand. Um, you know, exchanging those ripping forehands cross and just switching it up the line too good from my opponent and I'm now sitting two love down very quickly on my opponent's serve however I said to myself look um, you know you managed to to find a way to break a few times in the first set it's not impossible you've just got to try and find your opportunities you can see I go 30-15 up here I look to get the ball nice and low manage to find the pass there at 40-15 to go 40-15 up and I get two break points here to really pull this second set back into contention. And he double faults, a sign of a little bit of nerves, potentially a little bit of pressure um, to try and take the lead. But now I'm, you know, I'm back on serve and I want to try and capitalize using that forehand. The slice was very effective for me. It's not that I don't trust my backhand. I think my backhand's improved a lot. I just think that keeping it low and making sure that I can kind of find a way into the net was really working for me well on this day. It's also a good, uh, good change-up because a lot of people, I feel, don't use the slice enough. So, you know, as you can see, they're dipping it low, forcing him to play high. I was forcing quite a few errors that day. And here we are, back at 2 all, um, you know, back in contention. And this point was just absolutely ridiculous. No clue what came over me there, but said to myself, I'm going to come in on this ball and played probably the best technically point of the match. And, um, you know, of course, Sedan kind of responds with, with a couple good points, a uh, couple put away balls. He, you could definitely tell he was becoming more aggressive on his service games. I think he began to to tell that he's not just going to be able to outgrind me. I was going to come forwards. I was going to try and put away winners, which I was able to do a bit more in my service games. I think that he then began to, to kind of raise his aggression level and, um, and also his level of play. He was giving me a lot less, um, you know, especially in his service games, uh, you know, as you can see. However, I'm all for a hustle, playing the lob there, executing that pretty well, giving myself some, some small chances in these games. I thought that ball was wide, but it's gone for an ace to go 4-3 down and the, this business end of this set here at 4-3 is always where it can get a little bit dangerous. You never really know what's going to happen and uh, I just had to stay solid, make sure I'm playing the high percentages and as you can see, serving it out with an ace to win my own service game. And now in, in these few games, I remember it very clearly, I was beginning to play some very good return games and really hustling. You can see here this point absolutely scrambling and really trying to find a way through. And there were a lot of close games here in these last few moments and a lot of chances. So I'm gonna let you watch and enjoy. <laughs> and he eventually takes that game at 5-4. Now it's down to me to serve for a, for a chance to go 5 all. And he puts the ball long. It's 5 all, 15-30. And he puts in a very, very clutch serve there. That would have been two huge points to try and serve it out. And here at 30, we're just trying to make him play one extra ball. A very, very good lob there from me. Couldn't really see the ball bang in the middle of the sun. I look to just try and reset the point. He gets the ball nice and deep. He tries to approach with a slice and it just flies long. And I get another break point here at 40-30. But once again, it's an ace down the tee. And that's what the best players do. They clutch up in the biggest moments. But I said, look, let me just, I'm still going to fight and get myself another break point after a solid return. And I hear on this ball, I said, just rip it cross. And I, it was literally one ball's length wide. Uh, they five centimeters wide, that one. And that was heartbreaking because serving for the match would have been huge. However, just hitting the top of the net tape there as well, giving Sudan the opportunity to serve it out here and just putting that backhand into the net, allowing him the chance to 
to go 6-5 up and secure at least a tie break in this set. And, uh, you know, it happens. I, I, I regrouped pretty quickly, as you can see by this point. There you go, coming forward, paying off. And uh, a chance here to take it to a tie break in this second set. And there we go. We're into a breaker. Super pumped, super focused. Not very nervous actually because I was pretty proud of how I was playing and, and um, you know, the score so far against this opponent, which was kind of helping me. And you can see here the absolute hustle, getting rewarded for it. Just gonna fight for every single point in this tie break. And uh, so yeah, see what happens. And just managing to pass me on that ball. Uh, keeps it on serve in this tie break. But a massive forehand there from me takes it to three all. The level of this tie break was very high. Very few unforced errors or mistakes, I think, from from, from both of us, um, you know, we were both absolutely battling it out. Uh, Sedan coming to the net here, again, preventing me from having any sort of chances, me going 5-4 down again on serve, but again looking for that first ball, really putting it away, getting the pump out as much as possible, and what a huge point here at 5-all. Definitely wanted to try and keep it low, that's a shot that he'd kind of been making a few errors on throughout the match, and he does once again and I get my first match point. Not only pick up another ATP point, but the biggest win in my career. And he clutches up. He puts the ball away. I made him play. Maybe a little bit passively on my part. And now suddenly he has a set point. And I missed the volley. The most painful volley I had to... I tried editing that point about 15 times and it took me a long, long time to, to stomach putting a scoreline to that because that was, that was a heartbreaking way to lose a second set having had match points. And suddenly I was thrown into this third set, a full third, which I've you know, played pretty much zero times this year. And I was having some physical problems. I went to the toilet at the end of the second set and I'd come back a little bit cold. I was struggling a little bit with movement and Saddam was playing some ridiculous tennis. He really raised his level here in this third set. Um, but I was, I was struggling a lot with movement, so I was just really going for my shots. But again, he was finding the spots, going back behind. And I knew that on serve here, I'm going to have to absolutely cannon some serves, really just try and find a way to um, you know, win this game without, without moving much. Um, because I kind of knew I was going to call the physio after this game because I was, you know, something in my hamstring on my left side was, was just, I don't know, it was really sore, really hurting. Um, so I did see the, the physio had a medical timeout of, of, of two or three minutes. Uh, he put some like Voltarol stuff on it, some heat, um, some heat gels and stuff. And uh, yeah, then it was time to carry on. Uh, I go 30 love up in, in Sedan's service game here. But once again, um, Sedan takes it, just some really solid tennis on his part. And um, you know, you can see we're still playing some good tennis, big hitting, but he puts the, putting the balls right in the corners, making me move, making it really difficult for me to try and find a way through. Usually kind of a lot of the balls that he was missing before weren't weren't missing anymore and I was really having to play two or three extra shots every single every single rally, every single point. Even even there you can see getting it low to my feet, putting away the passing shot and uh, you know, getting his chances and I slowly felt the match slipping away from me. I think that mentally it was such a tough, a tough moment having had match points and being able to bounce back from that, not only mentally, but obviously you can see me having a few problems here physically. I think that my opponent sensed that a little bit and uh, you know, that's why you know, he is where he is. He capitalized and he's, he's, he bounced, bounced back from that, that first set. And uh, I think it's just definitely an area that uh, I can uh, look to improve over the off season and, and for next year. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what happened in the doubles this Thursday and um, this coming Thursday and also what happened yeah, in my second on. week because I did play a pretty good second week here as well in singles. You can see me playing some good tennis, so that also translated to a, another week. However, I definitely think that there are, there are a lot of positives to take from this match, but also a lot of things to learn, um, you know, about you know, a full third uh, physically, 
and just mentally in those key moments maybe just being a little bit more aggressive a little bit more to my game identity rather than kind of chipping the ball in um, but then again he did play a good point so uh, there's not too much to be be frustrated about you can see here at juice not quite putting the ball with enough height over the net and Sedan getting his first opportunity at a match point to knock me out in the first round of the main draw um, having had match points but that's just tennis and unfortunately he does take the match um, however a solid match on my part against last week's finalist I was pre pretty proud of my efforts this guy's just doing some recovery in the sauna um, yeah long match today so just trying to get some recovery in before doubles tomorrow um, yeah was was a, was a long match but you know only two hours and a bit so uh, I've had worse, um, you know, going to get to look to get some good food in early night and uh, yeah, give myself the best possible chance for, for doubles tomorrow. Let's go. A bit too much. 